Hello friends and welcome to the next exciting season of Heroes of Might and Magic 3. This time we are venturing back to the Horn of the Abyss. There's been a new version 1.70 that has dropped just in the last few weeks and man is it cool. It introduces a new town, the factory. You can see the tier 7 creature here up on the rocks fighting the uh, Haspid from the Cove town which was uh, the previous release of the previous major release of Horn of the Abyss. And uh, I'm really excited to try this out, to check this town out, see what it's got to offer. Check out the creatures, the heroes, all of the uh, bespoke music and other artwork uh, that's been made for the game. Really so impressed with Horn of the Abyss and a massive convert, I feel, uh, having been playing the game for 25 years at this point. It takes a lot to impress, and uh, these guys really have impressed. I mean, it's just an amazing piece of work. So we're going to be playing a random map. Uh, which is the same style that we uh, have done on the channel in the past. I have cooked up a new template for this one called PB Tries Harder, six player template. And I'm optimistic that this one will generate some really interesting water on the surface and configuration of the islands and land masses without having to actually use the islands button. So I might talk a bit, a bit about that in more depth as we play. Um, as always, we're going for the highest difficulty uh, to see if we can uh, tie one hand behind the back in the first month and um, make a really interesting uh, decision set for ourselves. Um, now, I want to play as the factory and try to figure out what kind of colour we want to be, given that the palette of the town is very much kind of based on the American uh, desert, Midwest, kind of Nevada, Arizona area. A lot of browns, oranges in, in the colour palette. So I think maybe tan or, or orange would fit but I actually think it might be better to put a contrasting colour around the outside. And um, so I think green might look good around the outside to just give it some contrast. So we're going to be the factory. We're going to let it randomise our hero and our starting resource and we'll randomise everything else that's going on in the game. And uh, what happens if I right click? You can see all the cool creatures. We'll be learning about all these as we go. Uh, I've had a bit of a play around with the factory. I got up to about sandworms and died in the um, couple of test games I've been playing um, which I don't mind admitting were games I was recording but I just got I just got killed in like week three so um, hopefully I've learned a little bit more about how the factory works and what I should be doing and not doing um, but we'll see how we go so let's see how, how this one goes and uh, who knows maybe I'll actually make it past week three and um, it'll see the light of day on YouTube all right, where are we? Look at this. Okay, we're in the desert. This is the desert terrain. I think this terrain was part of the previous version of Horn of the Abyss, but in addition to that now we have a dedicated town that goes with it. You can see here the uh, the town as it's laid out. New Dolaire, the factory town. We have Sam, the hero. Sam the mercenary, I think she is, that means. 3111 means meets a hero of might. Um, so where should we go first? We check out the factory first. We'll check out New Dolaire. And look at this incredible uh, vista that we have before us. Inspired by the Grand Canyon. Um, really looks like Utah or Arizona. Anyone who's had the privilege to travel that part of the world. Um, it's I can highly recommend it. It's absolutely fantastic. Breathtaking sort of stuff. Um, we've got familiar sort of layout here. We've got the village hall to the left. Kind of feels a little bit like the castle, the layout. We've got the castle on the hill. Town hall is here. You've got residences in the foreground. We have a tavern over this side. And the castle obviously is over that side. Up on the hill we can recruit halflings. And these guys are the tier 1 unit of the factory. Now a halfling is... Very good. I mean, I took great pleasure in sacrificing them to the skeleton transformer in the last campaign. But in this campaign, these guys are going to be amazing for us. Um, they're at least as good as a Master Gremlin, if not better, and they're not even upgraded. So, amazing. You know, attack skill 4, shoots uh, 24 shots at 1 to 3 damage with the always positive luck feature. And then they only get better when you upgrade them. The upgrade is expensive, however, as I learned in the last campaign. Um, but worth it. Expensive, but worth it. So we're very happy to see that. Uh, we also have engineer no these are mechanics okay really cool creature uh and they come from the dwelling up here uh, which i don't know what that's called we'll find out here maybe go in here 
It's called a foundry. There you go. And these are all the buildings we can get. Now, the cool thing about the factory is it's kind of a town of two halves. You've got the biological, zoological side, which is after you've got halflings, you've got armadillos at the ranch. You can then go straight to catacombs for sandworms and then on to the Serpentarium for coattles. Or you can go the mechanical route, which is engineers into automatons into these guys are gunslingers. Which is just very, very cool, very cool idea. Into the gantry where the juggernauts and dreadnoughts can be purchased from the uh, gantry. Interestingly, actually, I thought this was a misspelling at first, that it's a halfling abode and they'd misspelled it. Turns out an adobe is a clay, um, a dwelling made from clay. That's the definition of what an adobe is. I've been using Adobe Acrobat Reader for 25 years, never knowing that that's what that actually means. So, very, very cool. Lots and lots of themes going on, uh, and I'm even learning something as I go. Now, as for Sam. Sam the Mercenary, she's very good with mechanics, and she knows tactics and offense, which just work beautifully uh, together. Very overlordy, uh, and kind of planeswalkery is what I'm thinking uh, for the Mercenary at this stage. As for Sam herself, since ancient times, Earth oil had wreaked havoc on the farmers of Jadame, erupting in fountains and laying waste to their crops and pastures. Sam, the daughter and apprentice of a skilled blacksmith, was the first to tame this black beast by forcing it into a pipe and making it heat her forge. Her inventions made Earth oil into Burton's blood food and arms. Burton must be the region where uh, factories uh, crop up, like Eofol and you know uh, the, these sorts of uh, parts of uh, you know. Uh, Arathia and uh, all this kind of stuff. I, um, I'm not as good on the lore as I probably should be. Okay. Um, cool. Welcome, Sam. She's uh, an oil. She's like reminding me of the uh, character in There Will Be Blood. You know, Daniel Day Lewis's character? I'm a goo man. I'm an oil man. I'm an oil man. And she's like, I'm an oil girl. Um, I don't know if I like her name. Sam. It just seems a bit... It's not fantasy-y enough. It's a bit sort of Sam. Like, that's the name of my you know, bloke who lives a couple of doors down from me. You know what I mean? Or it's the name of the receptionist uh, girl at work or something. Sam, Sam the receptionist? Or Sam the accountant? Um, Sam the baker? I don't know. Other names in the... in the Like, you know, like Solmir or Septiena. You know, it's a bit more... F fantasy -y. That's my only complaint, but I don't want to hold that against her. Um, we're hoping to achieve some amazing things here up with Sam. Now, while I've been rambling, you may have been not getting a chance to have a listen to the amazing theme of the factory. Dramatic and atmospheric and feels and sounds like it was built using the same technology and recording software and digital uh, audio uh, equipment that would have been used back in 99. Um, I even think the original composer, Paul Romero, had a hand in some of the music, I thought, maybe for The Cove. I, I don't know if maybe he's, he's also had a hand in this. Uh, I'd love to find out, actually, if uh, you guys have knowledge of uh, what was going on behind the scenes as the guys have been developing this, but everything here is so great. Look at her face and the rendering of that. You know, these mechanics, they just look so characterful in that shot there, in that picture. Everything's just excellent. Really, really good. Anyway, Sam's speciality is going to give these mechanics plus one movement. Uh, increases speed and gives their yeah gives them a boost then to attack and defense. So given that we've already got the dwelling here, the foundry, we're probably going to go into this, actually. I was excited about the halflings, but it feels like we're kind of in mechanic territory. Um to begin with. We have 700 bucks in the bank. We don't want to spend a penny of it just yet on any extra mechanics or anything like that. We're going to be wandering around seeing what we can get away with. She doesn't have a spell book, so we won't go there just yet. It's a scholar there. I'm trying to see there's wood there, so we'll go and flag that. Prisoner. Guarded by lots of armadillos. Okay, so that's the third tier creature of the factory. I'd love them to join us, actually, but I've got, um, I have diplomacy disabled on this template. 
uh, because even though it has been changed in the Born of the Abyss modification, it's still a skill that I feel breaks the game in a way that I don't like, I don't enjoy, so it's banned for me and the AI. There's a windmill here, we could try to see what they've got going. I can't beat lots of armadillos just yet with this army. And it's not worth it to me to try to do so just yet. And here, scouting would be nice, but we don't have that, so let's end the day there. Should we keep going this way? I don't think I can get past there. So there's more wood there, there might be stone up this way. I feel like this is a valuable scout though. This crystal might matter sooner than I realize. Mm. Okay, I'm not going to go get that one. Lots of Walking Dead guarding a Naga Bank. I can't attack yet anyway. Oh, we've whiffed a little bit actually coming down through here. I can't afford to go there yet. Sia's Hut. No, we have to backtrack I think. I don't want to take them on yet, just to unlock a windmill, doesn't seem worth it. It's not a big army she starts with, honestly. You'd almost rather have some halflings to, to take some of this on. Come here, go to the Scholar, see what's on this side. Or we can hook around that way. Yeah, but that's probably just an underground or something there. The only other option is to come down this way. Uh, but then we risk having to go all the way back around the armadillos, which is not good. Um, so I will be conservative. And it feels like a backtrack, but never... Ooh. Charm of the Eclipse. That's a interference artifact. Introduced with the Horn of the Abyss, the interference skill. Um, yeah, we're saving our money. We either want a hero or we want a town hall. Guarded by some water elementals. <laughs> okay, this has happened. I noticed on the failed run that I did where I died on week three, it's not always clear on this terrain where you can run and where you can't. As a rule of thumb, you can get through places you wouldn't otherwise think. So like, for example, there, I can't believe that I can stand on that hex. You know what I mean? I would have thought that that's the hex I'd have to stand on. I'd have to go here and round. But you can actually stand there. Uh, behind the mountain. And I'm going all the way up to see this scholar. There's some stone, so there's some reward. As you ride into the clearing, you notice a university scholar resting his horse. He offers to teach you some of what he knows before setting off. Well, that's nice of him. And I'm up to two defense to go with my three attack. So once I get some of these engineers on the, on the online are going to be pretty strong. Okay, Master Gremlins are guarding a treasure chest there. I want that. So, what can I do to try and get that treasure? What hero is available here in the tavern? We have Agar. The Grail may be found in the central regions. Remember that. Agar the Artificer. He is good with sandworms, which we'll learn about eventually, and he has a big army. He has a big ol' army. Slight beef I have. Heroes of Magic, as the Artificer is a Heroes of Magic. This starting army is better than Sam's starting army. In the vanilla game, in Shadow of Death, a, a Hero of Magic came with a spellbook and a disastrous looking starting army. Now it feels a bit too much like... Heroes of Magic are a bit too good on day one compared to what they used to be for me in single player mode. I think it's a multiplayer driven thing where Heroes of Magic can take too long to come online, you know, in a PvP context, but for me this is just a bit too good. But I can hire for 2500 I get all this. Um, yeah, 23 halflings, I get 6 engineers, I'll get it right one day, mechanics, some armadillos, and I can gallop out. I actually don't have enough money for this anyway today. Right on. Right on, gal. Ah, there it is. That's what I want. Okay. Alright, it has to be tomorrow. I don't want to try and do any anything crazy. 
We walk into the tavern and after a generous tip we hear the same tip we found out yesterday. There are two heroes at the bar having a drink together, Agar, the Artificer, having a word with one of our most uh, historic heroes on the channel, the great, the noble, the magnificent Levitha, who has reverted back to level 1, uh, having previously been on level 25 or something, uh, teleporting around the map and annihilating everyone in her wake, and resurrecting any uh, Grand Elves that died in her army about a year or so ago. Very fond memories of Labitha. She's teaching Agar a thing or two of what she knows when our emissary approaches. Agar, may I speak with you? Your services are required, and particularly your army is required. Will you join our cause for 2,500 gold? Agar accepts. Bidding farewell to Labitha, he joins you outside to discuss operations. Many thought that the warlock Agar was a madman, and then a dead man. While the latter has been proven incorrect, there is still no unanimity in Enroth's scientific community on the former. Okay. Indeed, his creations are undeniably viable and functional, but could a scientist in his right mind think of instilling such nasty inclinations and proclivities in a living being? What the heck does this mean? Does this mean that sandworms have... You know, sandworms have some kind of mechanical uh, enhancements to them, or Agar is at least researching that very idea. Can they be mechanically optimized in some way? I don't know. Anyway, he increases their speed and attack and defense. Might be a while before we have them online. Interesting, though, that we have a creature-based speciality in a Hero of Magic. Uh, that's a nice crossover. The spell he knows is, drumroll, just view Earth. Actually, that, is that even that bad to cast that from here where I'm standing? Uh, I'm going to get this and this in a second. Yeah, I'm going to cast that, actually. Cool noise. I've always loved that noise. Wow. Okay. Okay, so this map has generated water in the bottom left. Tons of landmass all through here. Tons of landmass up through the north. There might be some water here, though. That's quite cool that there is. And the top left is very busy. Some water hanging off the back end of it. Okay. Underground. Yeah, we have a big presence of underground stuff to do. Bottom left is empty as... Okay, so there's an ocean with nothing under it in the bottom left, more or less. So there's plenty to do up and around this region. Um, right. With the 400 gold, do we want to just top up one or more? We could buy two of these. Ten of those seem like a good investment. Make that stack a little bit more viable, a little bit more meaningful uh, with these soldiers. Agar meets Sam for the first time. Hello, Sam. Hello, Agar. Well met. How fast can you whip an armadillo to run over and kill? We got tactics, maybe helps a little bit. Uh, I'm just wondering if I should give him the uh, halflings as well. They are going to off it. They're all going to die, basically, to the Master Gremlins. Not all gonna die. How fast are these again? Very fast, right? Speed seven, and we might get to speed eight on this terrain. Sam is hemmed in here by the look, so I'll use her moves to just renegotiate this. I think it's correct to try and spare them. And uh, crack these. I lose four. Might not be able to do better than that, I don't know. Uh, we could get a morale flash, I suppose. Well, I can only get morale if I actually move, and if I move in short range, that's just not worth the risk. Just have to accept this. Never know your luck, they might go for the armies. Okay, lost one. How many did I lose in the auto combat four? How 
how good are they? They're not gonna... Are they gonna kill in melee? Are they gonna kill... Watch this fire breathing, like, oh, you can't... Yeah. See that? How wicked cool is that? So they can... I think she'll live. So these guys have Dragon Breath. Tier 2 creature walking 8 hexes across the thing unupgraded with Dragon Breath. How cool. And that's not even everything. On top of that, these guys can repair automatons and dreadnoughts that are um, in your army. Once per combat. Oh. That was a good kill by them, to be fair. That makes me mad. So you got to be careful here. You can breathe fire on your own girls if you're not careful. So we'll do it this way. Flamethrower. Like, how wicked cool is that? Very, very fun. Now, I actually can't get through there. As much as I would like to. Um, I want to find out what the Derek is. Two grand is fantastic for us. Do I want to do this... I have to get to here today anyway, so but that's a waste of his time otherwise. Come here. We'll take that. Five crystals, very nice. Cool, but I can't get there. Um, I'll find out what that is. So I'm going to find out what that is. I don't like heroes hanging out together for too long like this. Oh, come across a small shrine attended by a group of novices. In exchange for your protection, they agree to teach me slow, which is a very, very good pickup. Uh, very, very nice indeed. Right, 2,500 gold. We all know what that's getting spent on, don't we? Town hall. Absolute beeline to the town hall. Not a bad start. Day four. It's all right. It's not too bad. It's not the best. It's not the worst. Sam, you're the one I want to tell me what this is. I'm not going to go and look at the wiki. The drilling foreman rolls out a card of valuables. We managed to sell our yield at a healthy profit. Hope we'll take in at least as much the next time. Come for your share in a week. So we have a new water wheel in the desert. Except it's a uh, oil well. Which is just so nice. Isn't that amazing? I just think that's cool. I think that's really, really cool. Now to kill lots of armadillos, we're going to want... Uh, we'd like to buy these creatures, I think. Um, we don't want to invest in this. We don't know what that is yet. It almost has a western-y theme to it, the music. It's like something out of a great western movie theme. It's just making me smile. Listen to that music. Amazing. I'm still packing the halflings here. I'm actually going to buy these soldiers. 200 bucks is a bargain. Great. Am I buying these soldiers? Well, what else could I do? I could invest in my town for next week. There's nothing I really desperately want. I mean, I want more of these girls. And you can actually go straight to the manufacturing. We should probably do that. We should probably plan to... Have lots of engineers. Which one is it? Engineers. Which one's the upgrade and which one's the... So the mechanic is the basic one and the engineer is the upgrade. You can go from them straight to manufacturing for automatons. I feel like that's probably what we're going to do. Having said that, this is very cheap to get the armadillos started. We also go marketplace today. I don't think it's wrong to buy these where we have a specialist, a mechanic specialist. Down here. So old Agar, he's getting run around a little bit here. He's playing second fiddle. But by the time we free this prisoner, who could be level... Might be level 5. Might be level 10, but it might be just level 5. We'll have all the heroes we need. And, uh... Should be in good shape. So I'm doing this fight. Lots of armadillos up against all this stuff. Yes. Should we do it like this? 
Um, how many of these should he have? Can I just do that? And I get that wrong every time. Loose formation, no power, yeah. Uh, get back together. Lots of armadillos. If they are well spread out, we'll be able to use the fire breathing on them. Uh, Sam will be able to do the fire breathing. So let's stick together. Yeah, I was trying to think about whether I wanted to split things up. There's 20 of them, okay. Uh, tactics is quite nice here too. Now, can we... Kite. So it would be nice to try to convince the armadillos to split up. And have one go this way and one go that way. Um, we can try to give them the run around. So they're not convinced, but maybe these guys will be. That's right, I just don't do anything. They are not convinced. Okay, well in that case, I'll just come to here. Well, you can see him, I spotted this in the last play. He's doing this. He's poking his tongue out and jeering at the uh, opposition. So cool. So there's new artwork for the halflings. It's a whole new... These halflings have no bearing or no similarity to the ones that I was sacrificing so brutally on the skeleton transformer. Or, if I'm honest, with such delight. You know, I probably should confess that. Like, it's it's not something I found um, difficult to do. I, I didn't have a, a heavy conscience or anything. I just, just murdered them, you know. Um... It felt bad, but it also felt just so good. One, two, three, four. Oh, hang on, it's five. One. What can you do? Yeah, you can get to there. You can't. Yeah, but you can't get to there. One, two, three, four, five. You can't get me if I go there. So do I attack here? Let these guys walk up and attack me, or do I just kill these ones? And then you walk to here. I actually walk down to there and body block. That's better. Why wouldn't your morale be nice and high? Oh, you idiots. Oh, no, they can reach me. Okay, fine. That's not... Gee, seven couldn't kill one. So this is a demonstration of how defensive these creatures are attacking each other. Seven of them couldn't kill one of the other. When you look here, attack five, defense ten. Damage is only three to five, which is quite poor. Um for a melee tier 3 unit. I mean, it's not insanely bad, but it's it's not great. But attack 5 is quite bad. Uh, but the whole point of these guys is they have the health 25, but they have that stodgy defense. So anyway, not doing a lot of damage to each other. This guy only has one health left, though. So I'm not going to attack, uh, because that will invite retaliation. Instead, I'm going to defend. And then on my turn here, I'm going to blast a hole... <laughs> Look at the flamethrower, man. It's so cool. I did lose one. Okay. Losing one isn't too bad. And we free the hero. Let's find out what happens. In a dazzling display of daring, you break into the local jail and free the hero and prison there, who in return pledges loyalty to the death. Well, actually, that's not true, is it? They just abandon your cause. But anyway, pledges loyalty of sorts to your cause. Who do we get? Oh, who's this guy? Clancy the Ranger. Unicorns, okay. Oh, right. Wow, okay, so he's level 5. That's the person we've got to look for. Level 5's really, really handy. Pathfinding's great. Logistics is great, uh, as I explained in the last campaign. It's half as good in Horn of the Abyss as it is in the vanilla game, but that still makes it great. Uh, and Pathfinding's great. But it's solid, especially given that he's running around the desert with He's running with these creatures for very long. Uh, the pathfinding will come in quite useful. Unicorns probably won't matter. No. Clancy, welcome to the team. Weird looking guy though, isn't he? Um, it was by pure accident that he discovered he could communicate with unicorns. But this unique ability has served him well as he worked his way through the ranks of the military elite. Usually the background tells you a little bit about where he comes from, but he does look like a dwarf, doesn't he? Um, in terms of his background. So I think a dwarf would do well in the mechanical 
world of uh, the factory, even though he's very airy fairy and he loves unicorns, uh, much like my daughters. Um, he finds himself now in the Wild West, drilling for oil. I know what this is on your way. Another small shrine of novices teach you bloodlust. Could be quite good, actually, with uh, engineers. We have some crystal... The stone could be around here, but I'm just going to do this. We find a cure spell. Familiars are up here. Very beatable. And piles of gold. Not quite. No, I think... Okay, no, it's your common sense. You don't have enough. You don't have enough. Sam... What's Clancy going to do if you don't do that? Well, someone's going to go up and kill these. Um, I'm actually going to let Clancy do that. Yeah, this is what I want to do. Take the girls. Take the armadillo. Hmm. I actually think we could swap armies just about. Elves are going to be good, even three of them. They'll still have some use against uh, what he's doing. Centaurs won't do much. Unless Clancy can get there today because they're already penalising him. Can he get there today? He can. No, oh, that might as well happen, but it's fine. Alright, so that's, what's, that's, that's a done deal. I know... Everyone's thinking, oh no, wait, Sam was our main hero, what are you doing? But you've got to play the game that's in front of you, and Clancy has the XP we're looking for. There's an observatory here we definitely want to get to. Yeah, I can do this first. I think um, that monolith is new. That, that colour of monolith. Oh, check it out! Look at this! Look at the gunslinger guy! Cool, there's a sleeping armadillo, a halfling who's getting annoyed with them. There's this kind of underwater... Is that a dreadnought, maybe? That's a dreadnought. And then an automaton here. You've got the pub, you got the airship, that's the fort up there. Oh, I love the gunslinger, though. How cool is he, man? I cannot wait to build them. Um, even though I'm not sure about them in terms of stats. They've got 45 HP, tier 6 unit. So we'll see if uh, if I live that long uh, for it to matter. Um, Agar is here. Do you have a spellbook, pal? No, you don't. Could duck in and try and teach you something, but this is too important to unlock. Keep the momentum going. Clancy smashes into the familiars and there's tons of them. I'll wait on here. Movement six and speed seven, so I have to shoot. Oh. Um. Okay. I do want to protect both of you. If you run up this way. How can I do that? I can't do that. Dwarfs are in the completely wrong place to do that job. Hmm. I think for now, neither, no one will do anything, maybe, for now. You should definitely centralize. I've got the best speed in the game, though, surely. I've got speed 7. No! Okay, well, this fight's going worse than I... That anticipated. Can you tell I'm new to this factory, Gambit? Yeah. Well, you could attack the. I could just leave you for dead. Up here. You hit the halflings. You waste your turn. And then you act after me next turn. Yeah. Do that. I don't care if you kill the dwarfs, right? obvious how many it felt like a lot yeah that's fine right 
27. How many did you kill? Eight. Oh, that's pretty bad. That's pretty, pretty bad. Also, maybe a bit foolish. Um, we can do this. Oh, I love that. Oh, oh no, okay, it was just him having his turn. Um, I don't know if you guys saw the shiv he just pulled out and stabbed with the guy. I mean, cop that. Oh, that's good. Love that flamethrower, man. How cool is that? Did I lose one? I lost another one. Alright, not having a guy. That's, I'm not happy about that. Ten halflings. You, you, you want to hold on to them and protect them like Master Gremlins, you know? Oh, Legs of Legion. Great. Very glorious sounding music. Um, For what was not a very glorious victory. And uh, how are we getting ready for the end of the week here? What do we want to do? Let's play towards it, and if it doesn't work out, I mean, we need the blacksmith eventually. Look at how cool the blacksmith is, by the way. Steam coming out of the three chimneys. Awesome. Alright. Why don't you start us off? Hopefully you get some good work done. What is that? Look at the new Seer's Hut. That's new. Gorgeous. Just brilliant. Alright, day seven is a great day to get that. We have an easy fight here to get down underground, so we should do that. I really want this though. Ooh, I want that gold. There's the gold we needed. Can still get it though, for the purposes of... No, I can't. Okay, maybe I do need to do that. Let's just see how this guy goes first before I decide that. Can I get that money? No, I can get this money. Oh, ka-ching. Wish I'd come this way a little bit on day one. So important to get these scouts off. So these are all killable, but I do need the army. Clancy picks up the legs. Searching a ruin, you're amazed to find a piece of the statue of Legion. Carefully dust it off before placing it in your backpack. Second level units. Great. Need to get that back here for tomorrow, actually. Oh, is that me? Done. How much moves do I have left? 588, so I can just do a little bit of scouting. 388. 153, I can't get them. I can't get the greaves. Dragonbone greaves. Yeah, let's get the legs online. And can I get this? Yes. Should I get it? Yes. Oh, sweet man, look at these guys. Look at the icon for them. It's fantastic. Mechanical spider. Now, once again, speed eight. Everything in this town is super fast, except the armadillo. 12, 10, damage seven, health 30. Feels pretty solid, right? Um, kind of like a good Pegasus, but then, in addition, you get the Detonation at Death feature and the Repair Me feature, right, from these guys, from the mechanics. Repairs mechanical creatures, 10 hit points per mechanic, but it goes to 20 hit points per mechanic. Yeah, or per engineer, once you upgrade them to engineers. All very, very good. So we'll let those automatons build up. He has to stay put. I've run out of moves, I can't do anything else. I can, however, run up here to do this errand while you're stockpiling creatures to maybe take on some of these fights. There's another Derek there, so that's good. And we want to be able to kill all these creatures with um, cool automatons. I don't need this money, you can do this. Yeah. Ooh, we have the 
rocky terrain to the west. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Oops, no, don't do that with him, Jesus. Hang on. Do I want to check out these Seer's Huts before coming back up here? I don't think I need to, right? It's a shame about these, but I just don't have time. Come to here. Lancey, you're not doing that, man. You're staying where you are. Um, we're ending the day. Legion is online. Happiness? Old dwellings increase. Okay, well, go ahead and grab me some self. But, my lord, I've been working very hard to provide you these resources. Thank you very kindly, good sir. Now, as for the Legs of Legion, they did their thing. There are now 13 here. Would have been 8, but there's an extra 5. That's so nice. Um, what I want to do is hire the Halflings, and with them and 6 Armadillos, kill this. And if, I, if I'm wrong and all my stuff dies, I'm not that sad. Don't get to do all this, though. Okay, I go and waste his time coming down, but then I get this instead. I think it's fine. Let's get this instead. It's okay. A grand. Worth popping in here and having a look at our opponents. Let's have a look. Who are we up against? Okay. Everyone's still on one down. That's a relief. We have three heroes, so we're tied for first. What, have, what else is going on here? Gold, we're in the doldrums, that's normal. Obelisks found, great. Kingdom Army strength is actually... Weirdly, we are the leader on Kingdom Army. That's very unusual for this stage of the game on the hardest difficulty. Very, very unusual. It actually makes me think that that's a bug. Because look at the creatures they've got. Wyverns, rocks, black knights... That's very strange. How is it measuring army strength? Okay, I'd love to know if anyone's watching and can explain this. How I how am I how am I winning? How am I winning? It's, unless it's the hero, unless it's the quality of the hero, is baked in there. But he's three five one one. That's the same as Korvac. So I can't explain that. Um, okay, we're up against fortress stronghold. Yeah, it looks like that's probably Stronghold as well. And then that's probably Rampart and good old Septiana. Heroine of the last campaign. Uh, we're up against her this time, though. So, formidable adversary. Um, Sam. Do it. We're committed to it now. Come galloping through to here. Agar needs to be ready to come back okay lots of nymphs um hmm. speed eight so we're just going to use these guys to block i'm happy if the elves just die i'm not gonna be able to defend them they're, they're not a, they're not a long-term viable would be it. This is an easy fight. I mean, very, very easy fight. Oh, I'm going to say yes. Okay, none. I am going to fight the battle, though. Now, you guys can't see behind my camera. There's a new button above the wait button with uh, the detonation effect. Uh, so you click that button and it turns on detonation, which means if the stack dies, the whole thing blows up and causes tons of damage to everyone on, in base contact. Which is just nasty. Just really, really nasty. Um, these guys, meanwhile, have a repair button that, that uses uh, the same slot for anyone who's damaged. So I'm if I can actually make that work and use it. Here these girls come. Okay, well that's why I massively overestimated how bad this would be, but there are the... Um, there are the... Uh, millions coming up. Okay, I might get a morale here, why not try? I'm not turning detonation on. That's just going to kill them all, maybe? Let's just see what happens. Look at it walking. Yeah, now can I repair? Look at that, the little, oh, the little wrench shows up. There's a little wrench logo, a little wrench. <sighs> These girls can't kill me, can they? I guess I'm just going to do this. I'm going to repair them. Let's look at the repair animation. Ah, 
Fantastic. She waves her wrench around. And, uh... There's a little resurrection-looking uh, animation as well. Can you tell I'm impressed? Can you tell I like this? Oh, you're going to want to kill them too. All right, let's see if we can beat this. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, uh, we have to shoot first. That's fine. Go ahead. Protect them. Anyway, you don't need to do this. I'm telling you all this stuff, but it's not really relevant because I'm... Uh, okay, who goes first next time? Is it you? you? You go ahead of me. Oh no, they got in the way. Well, the automatons can walk around here and kill you, actually. So let's go with that. I'll just move out of the way. Let's do this. Nice fast unit. Runs all the way around. Kills 14. Survives the crackback, surely. Attack 4 versus defense 16? Yeah. Survives the crackback. Oh. How much damn? 21 damn. Well, these elves saved an automaton then. Um, and now we just come down and. Although I could have resurrected with my wrench. How yeah, good is that? It's pretty good. You know what we could do? You could come galloping past and you could do this job. Who are these? Yes, we could finally do this. Ah, yeah, it's all starting to click. Okay, this is good. Do you know what else I might do is build a bank. That's something we could do tomorrow. Show you guys how that works. Yeah, that's okay. Let's try it. Firstly... Good old Sam has 500 quid for us, so that's good. Now, watch this. For 500 bucks and some stone, here we have a little bank in the bottom left corner. Now, what that allows us to do is go in here. We get a free 2,500 bucks in the pocket right now. However, we have to pay it back over the course of the next five days. I don't know if we can do this... I don't know if we can do this uh, every week. But... I want that. Boom, there it is in our bank account. Oh, you can't see that. 3800 Uh, we just gotta give... What happens if we go here again? A banker sees you and says, you already have got your loan, pay it back before taking a new one. You just go, you just take a new one once it's paid back. It's good. Day one of every week. Boom. Here's 2500 to work with, and then you pay it back when you're ready. Give me all this. This is good. This is very good. Um, do I have any moves left? Right, so we know what she's doing. I'm not spending this money still. Bit of a bummer. Okay, come out. See, she's got centaurs galloping around the desert with centaurs. We're probably going to need to get dismissed. I might just give Agar a little head start here. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, so he's very tired. Talk to me. You're gonna need these before me. I can't cut spells anyway. Give me, give me, oh yeah, 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 yeah. All right, horde of water elementals. You're getting smashed. Three ninety-seven. What is it to there? Three fifty-six to there. Come to you. So we're going to want to clear that as well. Clear that underground. Another prisoner is the prize. That's potentially very good. Okay, need to hold here without losing crazy. Okay. Yeah, we need to do much better than this. These guys come wriggling forward. That's actually quite nice for us. We'd rather that than them come around up this way. So I think we are waiting. Yeah, that's just a nature of reality. Now, if these two block this, the Automatons and Captains can't get through. I think I still shoot this, right? Uh, 
Okay, that's actually useful. Yeah, I'm gonna have something to do. Oh, that's great. That's good. Okay. So if he's standing there, he can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. He can get there by going around the long way. So I'll stand here. I hope I've counted this correctly. Dude, 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 dude. I am an automaton. Here I come. Yes, I easily get there. Oh, he can... Oh, look at that. He can slip through the gap. I did not see the gap there. Ooh, look at that nasty attack. Can you get back to me? No, you can't. You're slow. You're too slow. This is safe uh, in terms of fire breathing. Here it comes. Still haven't lost one. Big, big damage. That's amazing. Meanwhile, the armadillos are in big trouble. Well, fire this off. Well, you can't get to me. What a waste. Mm. Just get in the way, boys. Now, you're walking here, killing these three. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it? Two automatons perish, but they'll be coming back. Stand there and die, Elfies. That was a bit silly. Okay, did lose one. Lose the L. Automatons. Well. Yeah. How many do I repair? 10 hit points per mechanic, 400 hit points worth come back. Lost nowhere near that many, so let's not do it yet. Useful. Let's guys finally go down. Defense. Okay, come on out. We just have to waste a turn here getting back into the game. I don't know how good that is. That stack. Okay, he goes down. Cannot protect them anymore. Can't protect them. Yeah. And he died. There, then. So it's not a halfling game, this one I'm playing. Uh, just be careful. They can't flee. So let's do this. Then on my next turn... Need to be a bit careful. Attack! Yeah. And now I'm going to attack you like this. You're still alive. She has her turn, she swings at the halflings, how dead will she be though? 3 to 6, she's not going to kill all of them. Yeah, that's fine. Kills exactly 2. So they deal, they deal a robotic amount of damage, 7. They always deal 7. So it tells you exactly how much damage they'll deal. Not enough for a kill. So I'll kill two. Then I will... 
repair. So it's it's not a halfling game. Okay. Ooh, uh yeah, take this one. Um and then can the hero move on the turn I free him? Or her? Let's find out. In another dazzling display of daring, you break into the local jail and free yet another hero. Using the uh, other prisoner. So it's a ragtag bunch of... Uh... Oh boy. Okay, we have an undead hero, Isra. Level 10. Hello, Dolly. Specialty necromancy. But look at their capabilities. Isra, level 10. She's ready to go to the library. She has logistics, expert offense, basic ballistics, expert wisdom. Isra, welcome. You are most welcome. Now, who's going to kill this? Pack of whites are dead meat, too, what Clancy's doing. So, I don't need help, I'm just going to do it. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I mean, the. 17. This layout is terrible, uh, so really have to fix this next time. Yeah, I would have done if I had the wheel Yeah, come up here. Centralize, boys. Waiting, of course. Oh, well, that was pointless. So if I go here, he can just fly there though, so that's fine. Let's do this. Gotta be careful of dragon breath. Oh, nice. Well, how about this? How about I lose nothing? I love the death of the white. I love that. I love the audio that's always gone with that. Right, can you kill whatever's down here as well? Lots of stone gargoyles, so that's the end of the halflings. What did we say we wanted to do? Make it a tight formation, maybe? Actually can't, I'm exhausted. Right, but guys, start mopping up, can you? Like, it's messy. Look at all this stuff that's everywhere here. Could you do this? A horde of pixies with magic arrow? You actually could. Am I losing his or a straight from there? No, I'm not. He's got like four magic arrows and a bunch of dudes here. Keep it tight. We'll win this. Oh! Come on, bat. Maybe that was a mistake. I should have run. Uh, I can defend you. Why not? It just feels like the last campaign, yeah? Um, doo -doo. What's going to happen? Should I come this way? Yeah. Free stuff lying around. Isra can vacuum all that up. Now we are talking. Really sorry, Sam. I know, I know how you're feeling. It's like, I'm, you're supposed to be the star of the show. You're my starting hero. Here I am messing around with these other people I've freed from prison. This is the way the game works. Lots of stone gargoyles. Hmm. Uh, 
Yeah. Five of my best troops perish, apparently. The stone gargoyles are good. They are quality. And we share... But can I defend the halflings in this configuration? Is it worth trying? Yes. Can you even get around there? No. Oh, you kind of can. Yeah, I'm still going to do this because this this uh, deletes the second unit from uh, the game for a while. Although I could do this, kill six. You come and help them afterwards. But if you come and help them, ah, depending on where you stand. If I stand there, you have to stand next door to them. Oh, check this out. Here's here's this for some thinking. He can only get to the same level vertically, right, as his friend. So if I stand here, he will have to land either there or there, which gives me a breath attack. Now we're getting the hang. I love the animations. Love the way they attack. Oh, well, okay, if I stand here, that's no good, actually. That doesn't matter. I can wait. No, that's the idea. Yeah, I wait. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, okay, you just wait around. I could probably use him for something, but anyway. This is good, right? Look at this, Dragon Breath. Flamethrower. Yeah. God, that thing buzzes. Now, I need to be careful. I want to regenerate. Kills exactly five. So, stay handy, stay close. I want to repair, not regenerate. He won't die from the... How many halflings did you kill? All of them. Oh. <laughs> My poor halflings. It just wants to be. Halflings were not supposed to be a thing this run through. I'm sorry. Couldn't defend them. I couldn't keep them alive. Advanced logistics or basic luck? Well, luck's no good with automatons. Um... Although double damage is a thing, so I think I'm going to stick, stay away from luck. Engineers don't... Engineering uh, soldiers don't... Uh, don't operate on luck, I'm guessing. It's uh, maths. It's a mathematical discipline. Yeah, let's upgrade the mechanics. Why don't we do that? We'll do, we're going to do that. So, to start with, um, I'm going to come upstairs, gallop down here, give the army to you, and come back and tidy up some of this stuff. Okay. So, I know this looks a bit strange, going the wrong way here. But, uh, it's all with a purpose in mind. Um, do that, man. Get it. Get it good. There is the idea of using the undead to help. You trip over what seemed to be the bones of a large dragon. Well, it's Isra, so that won't that would bother her in the slightest. Upon further examination, you discover the bones to be a pair of greaves. Plus one to power and knowledge suits Isra just fine. Thank you very much. Uh, money is massive. Ah, oh, the free stuff. Look at all the free stuff. I've got magic arrows for some of these fights too, if they're in the way. Am I upgrading the engineers then? Because I can get you to here, you're going to have to gallop to here and back to here, so you may as well come here first. Okay, that's what we'll do. We're going to use the troops to do the oceanids and the skeletons. So, we have something to spend some money on. Oh, look at that, see what I mean, look at that. Once you've gone mechanical, foundry, manufacturing, watchtower is next. You can skip the catacombs, go straight, you can skip the ranch, you don't even need the ranch. 
gunslingers, man. These guys are wicked good. Cannot wait to get these guys going. Don't need to buy it. I'm obviously not doing it today. Yeah, let's stick to the plan. We upgrade the dwelling. The mechanics become... Engineers. And look at this. I made a massive fuss about this on the, in my failed run-through. She's wearing a welding mask. Not that one like that. And she's dyed her hair blonde and she's got a new white outfit. New upgraded flamethrower. Just so much fun. I love it. I love the flavour. Really, really cool. Um, right, the guy, where are you going to get to? Um, you're going to get me all the way there. Well, in that case, I can afford to learn something. Uh, let's go attack. I'm going to attack my hero. And we'll gallop to there. Okay. I'm feeling like my tail is up here. This is... Uh, Feeling good, feeling fun. I have engineers, I have automatons. These two fights are easy. Um, well, let's just do the other stuff first. Um, go get this. Ransacking an enemy camp, you find a hidden cache of treasure. Nice one. What's up there? Anything? What is that? A grave? It's a cool feature. Look at that. Right. Gathering up all of the free things that are out here. Piles of gold just left around. I can magic arrow my way through that. Do I want to do that as a priority or do I want to check out what's up here first? Quick scout. Oh. Lots of trogs. Don't like magic arrow. Oh yeah, nice one. Nice one. Now, do you want to build... There is this. There's actually this. Four grand, though? Am I serious? How good would gunslingers be? Can I keep them alive against the water element? Oh, that's a problem. 45... Here's the thing with these gunslingers. I've got no idea if they're good or bad. 45 HP, they have they are very powerful um, in terms of the damage they do, the range damage they do. They have this preempt preemptive shot rule, which means that um, the upgraded version anyway, every time someone else shoots at them, they shoot first. It's like the Wild West, you know, pulling out your gun and anyway. Which is all very fun and cool. But is it what I want when I'm trying to clear Naga banks and just get ahead in the game? It's not really what I want, is it? Um, maybe sandworms are what I want. A bit more flexible, a bit tougher. Yeah, gunslingers. Just can't keep them well defended with these particular troops that I'm building here. Okay, yeah, so we won't do gunslingers. But before we gallop off, I could upgrade the 10 automatons we do have to sentinel automatons. I just don't actually feel like that's worthwhile yet. So I'm not going to do it. I'd rather invest my way towards City Hall, actually. I just don't need to go crazy with the creatures just yet. I think that's the issue. So let's do a low regret marketplace. And yeah, it appears just in the foreground, along with the other dwellings, um, the standard dwellings. Very nice. The guy comes galloping across the desert. Sam, finally I'm able to reconvene with you. Here, take your automatons and these engineers. See what you can do with them. Take this guy too. Now, go child. Do your best for the faction. Sam. Introduced to her new engineers and automatons. Grimly makes her way towards the Oceanids. 
No. Just gonna take it. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, hang on. I meant to say click yes and then auto. Oh man, sorry, I got confused there. I was supposed to click yes, pursue and engage them, but I was thinking about whether or not to auto combat. Anyway, I can't do any of that now because I've stupidly clicked the tick button. As you ride into a clearing, you can learn water magic. Water magic's what I want. I want to teleport automatons and dreadnoughts around. Right. Plus, uh, there's Bless as well. So I know she's not a hero of magic at all, but this is for free. So all I'm, I'm, I'm using one of my eight slots, but I'm taking it. Then there's the Derek, which someone needs to get around. It's just like Water Wheel. You need to get around and visit it pretty regularly. Next on my hit list are the Skellies. And from tomorrow, oh, I could do this, actually. How good's, how good's the Naga Bank going to be? Is this worth checking out, maybe, on the way? Let's stop in at the Cedar's Hut on the way, though. Agar now is actually a free agent. Lucy Goosey, he's been here, he hasn't been there. Okay, decent turn. How much fun is this? I spent my life doing things, but I can't turn a profit. I think I might be able to start mass producing artifacts, but I have to get one first. Even though I've spent my life on this pre on, on this very task. Anyway, long story short, if you bring me the spirit of repression, I'll confusingly reward you. See what I can do, pal. No promises. Right, you're a bit all over the place. Don't know what you're about. We just gallop down and do this, right? We don't worry about this. I sort of... and don't, don't worry about these because I'm in too much of a hurry. Okay. Get the Derek. Hmm, do I do that now? Let's go do this first with uh, Dude Meister, Clancy, Archery. Well, maybe I could have Gunslingers, and uh, I was going to be the Halflings guy, so yeah. I'll take Archery, maybe I'll learn how to actually keep my Halflings alive. Eventually. Interesting uh, underground area that might be very lucrative. Alright, let's magic arrow these troglodytes to death. Don't apply the battle result. Ah, uh -huh, they're all spread out. Mm. Oh, well, let's just get started. Sound effects of that. Tasty. Uh, let's put some meat out there. Um, opening three creatures for the necropolis are just really not good. I mean, skeletons are fine, of course, because of necromancy. But, uh, and yeah, talk about unexciting. Okay, that's right there. Sure. Ching. We lose two. How many do I kill? Three to six seems alright, right? And then he acts next, and then the skellies act. Kill the three to six, do it. My wounds are gonna heal. Yeah, and then I kill these. Don't even need to use all my magic arrows. Look at that! Three skellies of which eight come back. <laughs> Isra is an expert at necromancy, and um, that means you can get some cool things done with her with no starting position. Um, it does help that she's got 50 spell points and a strong magic arrow up her sleeve, of course. Okay, that's a dead end, but we got the Mercury online. That's amazing. Feeling good. These centaurs are slow. But whatever. Do need to get Isra back and uh, get her a spell book, but I haven't even built the Mage Guild yet, so probably what I'm building now. Though, right? I'm preparing for I'm preparing for next week. I'm trying to decide before day seven. Cool. Look at that resource silo. The pressurized pump crystal it produces. 
Let's go Citadel. We know we're building it. Ah, look at that. Look at the four columns that went up there. That's formidable. Just love this. Just love it. Alright, let's do some exploring first. Um, Durand, Clancy, I mean, is on the fringes of the world. I'm trying to get a handle on what's where. Go for this. A dragon vault? Oh no, is this turning into a necro campaign? I have an amazing necropolis hero and I can start pouring all my money into a nearby necropolis. What do I do? What does my conscience want me to do? Free cursed temple? Oh. Isra's going to be very happy. Get a bit more of scout off. We just want to find this necropolis, wherever it is down here, and we want it. Make a big deal out of Sam and her engineers, even though I have Isra is 10 levels ahead of her. Expert necromancy, and there's a dragon vault downstairs. Which I could gallop over to and just begin trying to push through and dominate and conquer that. However, there's too much upside here right now, so we've got to do this first. Fighting in the desert. You can't win at this difficulty level unless you take the opportunities that, that the game coughs up. Um, and that's a big opportunity. I'll have to look at it to me. It's gonna hurt. Not really. Do you wanna throw another one? Um waiting's useless. Um yeah, I might save my mana. Uh, I feel like he goes with the skellies, and that's fine. Okay. Four die, and four come back. I do have a spell book because I'm a death knight. Learn hypnotize, which I can never use. Um, those pixies will die to magic arrow. Yeah, so we don't have to decide yet. I don't have to decide these things just yet. Isra is quite busy and quite happy out there. Getting these jobs done, this is worthwhile. A thousand bucks. And I'm awkwardly on day six. Should I hang around here for another wee bit? So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, look at the Mage Guild! Look at how cool that is! Mage Guild can get to level five in the factory. Which is, I think I read, I was reading on Reddit, people are pining about the factory and it's built out all the way up to level 5. That's awfully good, given that it's got two level 7 creatures. It's got a lot going for it, the town. Best first level creature in the game. But, I don't know, I don't get a huge sense. Looking through the list of all the creatures in between armadillos, this mechanical uh, dynamic between these two units is really fun. I don't know if it's overpowered. And I don't know how uber overpowered these two seven level seven creatures really are, either. Gunslingers are so much fun, but 45 HP, oh. You know, so it doesn't have it all its own way. Right, Agar, man, that's a tough choice. I mean, what am I going to do with you? Like, you can get to here tomorrow, which is pointless, but you have the legs, and therefore that's made the decision. Very easy. Sam, you want to be able to do this job with... Um, do I have time? Someone else will figure it out at some point. I need you to be able to do this job without a lot of fuss. Oh, your tactics, that's right. Yes, pursue them, and don't apply the result. Get it right. Yeah, so this it should be possible for us to abuse the repair. Uh, let's start combat. Repair there. How far can you walk to there? Um, may as well wait. Uh, you're out of the fight. 
now I'll just walk here. You're going to come and do this. We're going to try to get the damage all concentrated on the automaton. Oh, and I'm out of range to actually attack the skellies because I moved the guy there. 88 skeletons hurt. Did you not know that? Okay, I still have tons of HP renewal. Stand here for me. Give me the option. Oh God. What happens if they die completely? Let's do the repair. I think this completely heals them. I've got tons of engineers. Yeah, they all come back. Then I act first. I can kill many. Flamethrower, baby. Oh, I did lose one. Okay, it worked out in the end. Oof, man, it's a volatile thing, that like. So let's say we're up against an enemy hero who could kill the engineers. It's a real interesting mini game that develops. It's like, how do I optimize this? Because if the engineers all die, the automatons are gone forever. But 42 of them can easily bring 10 back. You get 800 HP worth, which is enough to bring back probably 20 or something. It's like a 2 to 3 ratio. Two, two to, you need 3 engineers for every 2 automatons. Yeah. Okay, I don't think I'm going to have archery with Sam. And advanced tactics gets my melee units over to the enemy faster, so that's cool. Lots of orcs, case in point. Do we do it as one lot of stack? Lots of orcs? We can do that. We can take them. We can take them. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Oh, nearly. No, she can't. Okay, there's new graphics for the orcs. Dons. We want to give them the automatons. Right, because they're the thing that can be repaired. So if possible, yeah, it is possible. I'm going to move them into short range on purpose. Yeah, nice. Perfect. Uh, it might be worth moving this guy up, actually. Wow, look at how pathetic the damage is. Maybe it was still long range, I didn't think about it. Alright, I'm just doing this. Kills eight. Cop that flame. You'll got flame. Kills four. So my engineers, I have a bigger stack of engineers than I need for what I'm doing. None died? Have the orcs been made even worse than they were in the middle of the game? I have to say, I don't... I don't love, love the new orc graphic. This is a this is it's been redone. I don't love the new axes. I like the old axes. I don't know if I like the new orc. That's one thing. Um, yeah, they've changed everything. So you, you can see the little um, square picture of them up there. Um as well. That's a new graphic. And I think it was because there was something where the old graphic was didn't have a high enough resolution, it was bugged or something, but um, I don't know. It's because I sat, spent 25 years looking at the old one, I think. I'm um, just a grumpy grumpy sort of guy. Um, do this. Fix them up. Do this. Having great fun with these two units. Oh, I lost a second one there. Damn it. Okay, we'll apply battle resolve. I'm not super happy about that, but uh, can I do this? Can I explore, or do you? Do I need to get back? I need to get back because we are going to take on the horde of elementals on day one. I've got a day up my sleeve. I can do a bit of exploring. A horde of masters. Ooh, a horde of grand elves. They'll be fun to fight with tactics. Once I have expert tactics. 
and a Pandora's box. That's a very high priority target for us, but we do want to have that expert tactics or teleport or something. Don't need to fight them yet if they're not really offering any information. Having them shoot the engineers to death before turn two is going to be really bad. So I'm not going to do it. Portal. I think, okay, so I'll be there. Turn, turn seven, day seven, I'll get to about here. No, I can just keep exploring. It's fine. Guarded by not much. That shield looks like it might be good, and I can probably beat these guys. All right, guys. Come on, team. Clancy, tell me more about what's down there, man. Smooth stone on the face of the pillar begins to swirl. Looking into it, you're amazed to see answers. Questions you've pondered for years. The stone suddenly, stone suddenly goes still and you realise you've learned. Excellent, Clancy. Find a necropolis for me. stuff that's here. Why didn't I do this? I just couldn't. Okay, that's a good reason. Mm, free money. Let's have a look at this. Smooth stone. Okay, we are above ground. There's water there, obviously. Center of the world somewhere, right? Um, okay, the mansion is full of vampire lords. Uh, you got to beat them and you get a prize. Legs of, Le Legs of Legion are returning to New Dolan. And we will prepare for tomorrow by building a... Can we get a castle? Gonna go for my city hall. Oh, look at the Golden Dome. It's like the Taj Mahal mixed with the Temple Mount or something. It's like it's just got everything going on. Inspired artwork, man. Look at that. That's a city hall right there. Now, tomorrow, you need to be ready. So that means I need you back up through here, ready to fight these. Um... With extra engineers and automatons, I'm going to bring you. So if I gallop off today, I would not quite get there. I've still got time to just have a quick look around. Oh, that's actually really useful. Okay, that finds that out. Come around. Uh, we're exhausted, but that's fine. Okay, we're back the next day, and I was thinking overnight about our conundrum. We've got this amazing hero, Isra. Isra the Death Knight. Level 10, she's way ahead of where our kind of factory heroes uh, are up to here in um, week two, end of week two, to have a level 10 hero. We also have this guy who's level 7 now, level 7 ranger, Clancy. I do feel like we need to lean on these heroes uh, and pivot into them. I don't want to abandon the factory exactly. But we did notice that underground we have a, ne a necropolis nearby. So really, Isra being amazing at necromancy. There's skeletons here. Oh, we're going to want to do that, right? I think we might have seen her bi biography before, but she's not the greatest spellcaster in danger. but the army she leads always seem to have a disproportionate number of skeletons compared to the others, for obvious reasons. Okay, now in Horn of the Abyss, necromancy's half as good, so it's 15%, but then Isra gets... A 5% level perp, so she gets a 50% bonus to that, so I think what that means is 22.5% uh, come back from the dead. I'm going to want to leverage that, okay? So, don't be too upset though, I know the last campaign was a necro campaign as well, but we didn't really do necromancy in the last campaign. Also, um, we are still going to have plenty of relevant activity happening with the factory. I do feel though that Clancy's probably the guy who's going to be in, end up leading the factory um, troops, but we'll see. Okay, so I think the plan was, we're waiting here with the Legs of Legion on day 7. Isra is just tidying up this area for us uh, before we make that 
uh, bigger tactical decision. We've got magic arrows up our sleeve, so this result will be far less bad than it appears. Um, definitely want to use one of them. Very, very good target for magic arrow. Probably going to get these out of the way. Defend, defend. And if these guys just keep going for the skellies, that suits us fine. We're not even going to waste another magic arrow because we're going to be raising these guys back. So we lose five. And four come back. So we lose a magic arrow and one skeleton. Um, so such is the power of Israel. I think we're still in money mode um, for now. A thousand, a thousand XP doesn't hit the dial very much when you're level 10 anyway. So she needs 2,000 before she can go up. Um, yeah, so let's end the turn there. That's it for the week. Okay. Week of the Eagle. Tan doing some stuff over here. Interesting to see if they show their face. Um, yeah, so before we do what we were going to do... So what we were going to do, Sam is down here. She was going to gallop up and fight these. And we were going to use the automatons and stuff and upgrade them or get get fresh automatons from new dollar but let's just get some money in the bank first um i'm gonna stick on the theme of money i think money's right still for now and we can take these guys on but so our prize is a campfire which is actually pretty good but then the conservatory we can't really win against the griffins, I don't think. So a minder to just sort of keep exploring. So this is a dead end anyway, so we can decide maybe on the other on the on the crackback. I think we can take on the trogs and do that. Prize isn't very good, but it'll be an easy fight. Okay. Now as for Clancy, you're exploring the underground for us. We've been there. We've been there. He spent his life doing stuff, and he thinks he wants to mass produce, and he needs one to copy. It's the same old story. Requires the bird of perception. Okay. Let's see what we can do. No promises. And see if we can cheaply get the necro and defend it. I think that's probably the strategy. If in doubt, go for money. Um. Okay, can I go there? How much movement do I have down there? 206 will remain. 241. And then I need... I think I don't have enough moves to do both, so I'll leave Crystal go get this first. Okay, it's a smaller chest, I'll just take the money. Come upon a, upon a caravan of gypsies who are feasting and fortifying their bodies with mead. They call you forward and say, if you prove that you can dance the Rama Buddha, we will reward you. You don't know it, but try anyway. They laugh hysterically, but admire your bravery, giving you a strange charm. Oh, well, good on you, Clancy, for busting out the dance moves, mate. One extra spell point per day. Well, well, that's okay. I mean, it's not exactly the greatest prize in the history of, um, uh, in the history of uh, dance-offs. But uh, Clancy, hitting the dance floor, getting down... Busting the moves out on the on the floor, impressing the gypsies enough to get something out of, uh, of the exchange. So you can't say that he's not putting in a shift or putting in an effort for the uh, for the faction. Okay, so that's our explorers sorted out. Sam, are you serious about this? This fight didn't go that well last time. Have to think about what we're going to do. How tired will you be? So she's going to be exhausted anyway. So we could. We could maybe rendezvous today, and then Agar runs back. What could we do? We could maybe upgrade the automatons. Um, yeah, that seems good. Right, so she rides north. Maybe get this on the way back down, right? Because she's, she's coming back down. She's going to be unlocking the familiars. She might take this fight on. Or a Pandora's box, that might be good, but it's going to hurt like anything. I never did that. I did do it. Okay, all right. Come on, come on up here. You, I, don't th I don't think do the fight today. I think we, we're we going to upgrade the automatons, right? Upgrade the manufactory. 
and look at that. Look at the upgrade. How wicked is that? It's like something out of the early days of the American Railroad. That's just sweet. That's just so nice. It just makes me happy. All right, and look at the image of what it changes to. Like, they change into these gold-plated guys. But I love the mini image. It looks like something absolutely wicked. So it's a Sentinel Automaton we're going to be buying. And we're going to pick up the Engineers to go with it. I think Centaurs can stay with me. Come on down and have a chat to her. Sam, I come to you with an urgent missive from Head Command. Take these. They are Sentinel Automatons that take no enemy retaliation. Give me your old ones. I will return tomorrow and give me this slow idiot. Because he's just going to slow you down. I'll return tomorrow with... If only I could bring her a spell book, that would be good. With these guys upgraded. That's what we're going to do. Agar hastes his way back to New Dolaire to upgrade these bad boys for a grand. Ooh. But now that we know there's a necropolis downstairs, um, I'm having these evil thoughts. Um, I don't even want to verbalize what they are as to what maybe we could... I know it's not the spirit of what we set out to do, which is to really showcase the factory. But part of me does wonder if it might be better serving as a There, I said it. I think uh, leave the armadillo at home, actually, man. And I'm going to run around with... Well, then again. Yeah, I'm going to run around with some basic centaurs or something to do these errands. I'm going to do the Derek and all this kind of thing. All right, so let's get this done. Let's get this fight done, and we want... We want this fight... Uh, to be now do that and then I'm saying I'm saying something like this we flood the we flood the board with all these idiots sort of obfuscating tactic for Sam to deploy are we serious about this do we think we can do this the first strike and the repair it's all about the timing of the repair, I feel. 82. Oh, man. Okay, well, we might have bitten off too much here. So how can we confuse and distract? Okay, so my plan was to come over here, come flying over here and smash. With first strike, I only kill seven, actually. The engineers then walk over, do that. Let's do it. Oh. Come on, girls. Hustle. Okay, how bad was that? Three engineers perish in, in, in the crackback. Any distraction you boys can give me is going to be welcome. You're out of the game. When do you act? You act last. So this boy's going to come this way and try and drag her down. If you walk to here and slap the centaur... Hmm. Well, I'm putting him there. Let's just see what happens, right? As for this guy, we don't really want her coming up into here. Like, let's say she walks up and kills him. We don't want this girl coming this way. One, two, three, four, five. So if he's there... And then we want to stay out of range of both with this one and then you come to here okay come on do your worst okay that's good okay well that's good AI oh that's that's very bad okay oh no it didn't do it she didn't turn around and breathe to breathe down that way 
That's quite bad. That's a bad thing. So I want to allow her the flexibility to walk onto there. We need to keep them together kind of thing, you know? Oh, there's absolutely no point now. Uh, using these, they're just going to get in the way of what I want to do. Spacing themselves beautifully. Wait, probably now's the time to repair, I guess. There's no point taking retaliations though, right? Because he's not going to get retaliated against. Offer them. Offer them up. Please attack me. I'm here, I'm here. Yeah, but they're too smart. Okay, well. Kill six. into them here, don't we? That's all we can do. Take the hits. Yeah, again, pointless. Like, Centaur's provided... Oh, yes! Finally! Oh, thank you, boys. Thank you. Yes! Okay. Um... Come on over. That actually was good. Um... Careful here, we don't do an accidental fire breathing. That's fine. Oh man. Okay. It wasn't crazy. Um hasn't retaliated yet, so yeah, just come on up here and hey, why don't you kill me instead? Yes. <laughs> oh well. Centaurs, you actually did do something, so well done, but I'm Three and fourteen, that's, that's, that hurts, right? So this ogre club better be bloody good. Can't uh, justify navigation. Tactics is good. Scholar could be quite good, actually. Nah, I'm just, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a might hero and scholar just doesn't feel right. I'm gonna do that. Agar, can you pick these up for me? I'm gonna go get the spell book. It's ridiculous. I'm trying to fight here. I could visit here as well. I can learn slow and bloodlust uh, before I return. Pause here. Let's go and see what's going on with Isra and uh, the others. So we get past this fight. Let's do this. I'll look. I guess I'll magic arrow the big stack. Okay. And, uh, come on this way, we'll just stratify things out a little bit. Um, do you want to do another one? Waste another magic arrow. Well, I don't know how good that was. Lost eleven, raised eight. Maybe I could have magic arrowed there and done a bit better. Um. We just aren't doing this. I think we're just we're, we're not. There's not enough reward for that. So Israel's going to try to beeline his way, her way, sorry, down here. 
Clancy, tell me more about what's going on down here, man. I'm intrigued. Okay, I see an observatory. Infernal, what's it called? Lots of harpy hags, too good for us. But this is going to help a lot. Where is the necropolis? Nowhere? Oh, I see a tower. There's a tower town down here. Another prison? There's a full-on tower town down here. Alright, well where's the necro? There is no necro. So the game's not going to generate... If that's a tower, the game's not going to just generate random... Like, it's not going to generate randomly another town, like a necropolis next door to this, right? The, the zone of the map generator is not going to do that. There's another prison here. Bloody hell. So this is a this is a bum steer. There's no necropolis here. What is this down? How could it be there? It couldn't be right next door to that, could it? This is baffling, I have to say. I'm confused. Yeah. I had this moment where I just said, who the hell is this? And it's like, oh, it's quite... Uh... Okay, sorceresses up here guarding things. Oh, man. What the heck are we going to do? They just wouldn't be. Right, there's too much going on here for Clancy to... Uh, curse is useful. Okay. Get his head around. So he's just going to gallop to there. So Agar, step off for a moment. Get out of my way. I want to learn things. Um, okay, so I pick up shield, stone and skin. I wonder if I should try for blind. While we're here, I'm never coming back. What else could I learn? I could learn lightning bolt. Isra's gonna come here. So I think this is okay. I think this is an okay investment. Second floor goes up. What did we get? We need something. Lightning bolt indeed. Okay. Causes a bolt of lightning to strike the enemy unit. It's okay. Blind would have been better. Remove obstacle could be relevant with my alpha striking tactics uh, that I'll be, I'll be deploying. But now Sam has a spell book. She's learned a few things. And her lightning bolt does 35. Yeah, so there's no spell power behind it yet. This actually is the way to go, though. We get two magic arrows. Um, well, we'll get five magic arrows, actually, once she... Um, Regenerates her spell points. Okay. It's okay, right? Do we want to make this investment? And then learn slow and bloodlust? I think yes. Right, we want to be sure that she's coming downstairs with... Some power. Okay, we're alright. Ten more doing more stuff. Uh, I didn't get a good... I should have taken a bit more time to really look at what Tan's doing, so... Not a lot, right? Their army's barely better than ours. And Gerd's just running around to help. Okay, cool. Alright, that's fine. Um, well, you better come learn all the Lightning Bolty stuff as well. So, we're kind of bringing everyone home. It's like we're coming home for Christmas. While you're there, you could stay the night to regain uh, all your spell points as well, so we could just clear these away. Um, while we're at it. Clancy. Mate, I think with you, you should just get all this good stuff. The free stuff, and then come back. Or 20. How do I find out... Where's my little kingdom button? There used to be a picture of a car. Here it is. How much stone am I earning? Yeah, and no, I still just one. Uh, okay, get this. And get that. Can't go to the imp cache, but... Get this money. And let's just go money, 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 money now. Find out what that is for me. Agar. 
go ahead and um, well let's just do this girl first an attack minded person it's worth galloping out here for slow I think someone else will get that maybe Agar and then come back over here and learn uh, bloodlust The Naga Bank here. So Isra could maybe do the Naga Bank with the army. We could just do a quick quick meet and greet. Yeah, I think we should do that, right? Grab the club. But before we get the club, while messing around with the curious trinket that you managed to trade, something really equally unneeded for, at a peddler, you find that although it's made of metal, it doesn't reflect the sun's rays, but rather absorbs them readily. Charm of the Eclipse is going to ruin our enemy spell casting. Reduces the power skill of any enemy hero by 10%. I, with interference, I don't know. Like, I think it probably is a bit better than resistance. Like, in terms of replacing what Horn of the Abyss does, replacing resistance with interference, I think it's a bit better. But, yeah, giving your enemy bad power, bad luck is another one, and bad morale. Those are the major kind of introduction, like, new artifacts. The themes of the new artifacts from Horn of the Abyss. I don't know how I feel about them. They felt like I was giving my opponent minus two luck, and it really hurt a lot in the last campaign. And I just wonder if... Are we sure that minus luck and minus morale are balanced against positive morale and positive? I don't know. I feel like freezing in combat with negative morale is way, way worse than getting an extra attack is good. So it's not even Steven. What I'm saying is minus two morale, having negative two morale in a fight is on the scale, it's at like minus 100 in terms of how, how unhappy you are. Whereas plus two morale makes you feel like you're at plus 40 in terms of happiness. You know, uh, I don't know. I'm just saying, is it lopsided? That's what I'm asking. Is it lopsided? Should the negative debuffing artifacts be rarer? At a roadside tavern, a drunken ogre challenges you to a fight. Not wanting to hurt him, you subdue him instead and take his massive club from him to prevent him getting into any more trouble. So that's a bit patronising to the fellow, but uh, Ogre's Club of Havoc. Agar manages to... Plus fiveify uh, the attack. And that's going to make a big difference against the Nagas if we're serious about that. So Sam, um, go ahead and grab this club. I'll keep the legs... You might find it use for cure, and you'll be fighting heroes before I will, so take that. Centaurs for a distraction. Why not? One reason is they'll slow you down. It's actually Isra that's going to do this fight. They'll slow you down, but not today. Oh yes, they will. Okay. Well, I'm out of moves anyway, so I can't change my mind. That's good. Um, building towards capital still. Yeah. I don't really need to start unlocking tons of sandworms and stuff just yet. I'm, I'm happy to know. Let's go for the economy. I didn't have a good look there. I let it happen without checking. Oh, check it out. All the cogs and wheels and stuff that have been added. Rotating around. Oh, man. Let's see anyone try and get in through, getting past that. Looking forward to see what it looks like in a siege, actually, as well. Right, let's end the turn. New Tan Hero has just been released. Oh, God. So they may have... They may have there's so many prisons on this map, it's ridiculous. Iona might be level 10. Okay, that's going to be quite, uh, quite good for them. You can land slow on your way back. Isra doesn't have a lot of moves, actually. I can just about get the job done. Gallop out to about here. Sam, you're going to need to use all your moves anyway to even have a hope of making it happen. And that's because of the centaurs. So I may have messed up a little bit here. So I'm going to have to talk to you. Waste all this time and effort getting the army. 
Keep the undead out of it, I think. Yes, and I'll lose a centaur. Mm, that's fine, I'll just take that. <laughs> Forgot about that. Um, that's minus two morale, but just to these girls. I am going to dismiss them, I think. Yep. But I'll keep these ones. Ah, uh, is that too many? Am I doing this? Do you know what I might do? Um, I might try that idea we talked about. Right. These girls will act before the Nagas, but not the Naga Queens. Oof. YOLO? Is this reckless? Okay, so it is, sadly. Alright. Okay, thank god, the engineers do act first. Maybe I could hypnotise this woman? Let's do this. I gotta decide what we're gonna do here. So I could literally... burn... Burn this girl. So she's down to one. She's on a hundred and forty nine HP now. I have to do it though before these this turn is over. I'm gonna deal quite a lot of damage to her though. So is it, is it better to just magic arrow and kill the queens? Sixty points of damage. Puts her down to 80-something, then I've got a good chance of killing her outright. I think that's better, and then I'm just going to pile magic arrows in to... Uh, what's left? 89 I need to deal. Okay, so this could go either way. I'll stand on this side, yeah. Okay, good, good. We max rolled, or we, we rolled high. That's nice. Okay, so we still have two repairs up our sleeve. We evacuate. She's going to come south. I think we're happy for her to come south. We want to fight her. We want to keep these... ...preoccupied. Um, come to here. Come waste your life over here. This could be very, very good. Um, yeah, and if you want to walk out to here, something like that. I don't really care what you girls are doing. Come here. You can only attack one at a time. This is fantastic. It just wastes their move. Yes. You're the one I want to kill. Great. Okay. This is a conversation between you and me. Just another arrow. Do the same thing again, basically. Um, okay, this time we want one of them to come over to us. So, let's go up here. We do have two arriving. Alright, let's try it that way. Who acts next? It's you, then it's you. I should have attacked this one. Magic arrow is not going to hurt it enough now. Um, that was a mistake. Could have gone for this one.
You back off. Still cast it? Well, I've only got one magic arrow. I'm gonna that's my last one anyway. Alright, let's just see how good this is. Is 14 enough of a snowball? I don't know if it is. Yeah, that's alright. Oh! Okay, little move symbol there. Okay, cool. Uh, you guys can't see what I'm looking at though. Do this. Kill that, hopefully. You come down here to do this job now. You guys... Come back out of range. If I wait here, you're going to walk up and hit me? Yeah, this is hard to do. We're trying to get multiple repairs off. Like, if I repair now... Eh. I got a repair with the small stack, right? But uh, she's still going to come around and hit them, though. Well, that was always a risk. Oh, yeah, that's shocking. That's not good. That's really, really not good. But the problem is these guys, these girls have first strike as well. I wait with this one, and I get out of the way with this one. You do this, but you don't get wrong. Yes, it's fine. Thank you. Seems alright. Maybe the thirteen can finish that group off. It's not good. The way I fought this just doesn't feel good at all. One, two, three, four, five. How much is left? 19, so maybe the 13 can do that. Okay. Well, we... I'm, maybe I'm being a bit hard on myself, I don't know. But the, the morale is, like, four of those girls died because of morale. Um, yeah. Archery for Israel is not going to be a thing, I don't think. Six grand. Well, that's actually pretty tidy, isn't it? Six grand is a decent payday. All right. Gallop on out. Let's see what else I can get done here before I have to go pick up the kids. Is there a campfire there I miss? Look at that. Can you see the flames? The flames emerging just behind those rocks there. Bloodlust is here. Okay, good to know. Get this money. Get this. Let's try and catch up to the AI economically and then decide what we're going to do. Yeah. Go visit Derek. Grand. Solid money. Cash money. Let's continue. Can I get the capital? I can. We're doing this, right? That's, that was our holiday draw line. Alright, are we ready to see what the capital looks like? Let's do that. Ooh, nice. Little additional dome on top, and we go to four grand a day. So that's going to really uh, help a lot. We're going to be able to unlock the factory and build it up nice and high, which is what we kind of wanted to do. I'd started off this session thinking, oh, I'm going to find myself putting all my money into this necropolis uh, that exists down here, which apparently it doesn't. But look at that, the Tomb of Souls up here. Well, why? Why is there a Tomb of Souls there, and why is that there? The answer must be that there's a Necro here that you can access around this way. Oh, hang on. Maybe ho not, hope is not lost. I've never seen a random map where it just gives you a dwelling and there isn't a town nearby of that town type. So it must just be that these are actually way, way out and the Necro is up here. 
So that's actually quite important to realise that that's there. This looks like interesting as well. It might be a warehouse of gold. So smashing through here is my new top priority. I'm even willing to say, Israel, you could take the army and do that. Does mean we abandon Sam. Expert tactics. It's a shame. I don't even really... I mean, once we've got the Necro safe, I can give you these soldiers back. These ones. Mm. I'm not going to do anything else today, right? I'm just going to end the turn, so let's just do that. Get a good look at Tan. It's useful. Tan has the... Okay, Tan has arrived in the south and taken the tower. No, not yet, but is likely to take the tower. Okay, Saurong probably won't get past. Don't really care if she flags this. We'll take them, take them back later. Um, but it kind of makes me want to say, well, look, I'm going to leave these horde of archers here. I'm not going to fight my way down here. You can have this area. It's quite possible that this isn't connected at all, and that this is a its own dead end. There's no way the Tomb of Souls up here, though, goes with a necro that's down here. That's not the case. It's much more likely that these two and the Tomb of Souls actually relate to a necro that's nestled just here. Um, so it looks like Tan is the first major foreign power we're going to be going up against. I don't have anything better for you to do, mate, so just go for your life on this. It's not a problem. Grab the crystal on the way back through. Agar, before the end of the week, we want to hit all three of these. Yeah, all right. Uh, Isra, your time is not very precious now, right? You're not... You can just be an undead hero that's wandering around. Need to get rid of these walking dead. Um, one of us, between the two of us, we're going to solve our problem. I think that's what we want to do. A lot of the time it's about saying, okay, I have an army, poorly, um, poorly led uh, by me, but there's no limit to how, off how far these creatures can uh, move on the map or how many fights they can engage in each day unlike in other games. So you're really trying to leverage that um, and use them, have your army sort of exist in multiple locations around the map at once. You're down here, and she'd be happy to take the legs off you, which you can do tomorrow while learning these things so I don't get compromised. Well, she goes legs thingy, she has to go and learn slow as well. Day five. What's my day six look like then? No, I don't like that. Let's compromise. We'll go half, half and half. How am I preparing, by the way, for next week? I only have three creatures unlocked. This is a pretty low regret investment just for today. So there we have the pen up on the hill. There's where the armadillos roam free. Problem with these guys is they have movement four. Yeah, movement four, but if you upgrade them, they go to movement six. So maybe we do that upgrade on day one. Uh, okay, happy with that. Blue is in the area. Saurong might be getting something done down there. You can check if Saurong has uh, captured the tower by going in here. They have, okay. Tan and Blue both have two towns. All right. Clancy, money. And while you're here, you have to do this. You just have to. Sam. All right, it's got to either be Sam or... Level 4 Expert Tactics, uh, tactics with 5-4. Or we have 3-8 with no tactics. But we have the pathfinding that'll get us around there quickly. 
archery won't matter. Basic offense. I think it's actually close. Well, I think we can use Sam. And maybe Clancy just gets to sit this one out. Yeah. I won't bother with the well. We're in an awful hurry. I'm not even going to get this. Ah. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, then the mystery remains. What the heck is going on? Where is the necropolis? Where, I ask you? How can it be? How can there be a tomb of souls there and these two things here? Is it on the surface? Well, that's the surface. What the heck is going on? How can that be there? So what that makes me want to do is kill these, obviously. Give Clancy the army. He's going to come over here. And he's going to come down and look through here. What else can I do? I can't ride through here. It's ridiculous. What do you want the bird of perception? All right, meanwhile upstairs, look at the nine grand we have. The snowball has commenced in terms of cashola. Give me the legs. Or do I just do this or do this all dumb way and not worry about it? Day six, day seven. There's a chance I won't get slow. That's fine. Day six, I go here. I don't want to risk losing the Derek. I'd rather do that instead. Yep, yeah, fine. Get the Derek. Okay. So we have the armadillos. We think we're upgrading them. Yeah, it's cheap to upgrade. Now, catacombs, I think, might be the way to go in terms of investment over Watchtower. It's going to do better with the tactics -y stuff we're doing than the gunslingers. As awesomely cool as the gunslingers are, I think it's catacombs. And here they are. They open up a whole a chasm in the side of the mountain from which the sandworms will come. Uh, yeah, cool. Talk about maybe upgrading the sandworms too. Um, because it won't be day one that I'm galloping out with this big fresh army, right? Alright, we're galloping through the turns here is my only concern, and Tan is consolidating its power. Demon's Horseshoe. Right, while you're up here, you have to do this job. It's just too good. You can probably kill the dwarfs too. Put that back on for me, love. I kill the dwarves? Do I wish to pursue and engage them? I'm going to say yes because of the tactics here, right? And I'm actually because of the, yeah, it's only 36 of them. I'm just going to take the freebie. It's a bit of a waste of time, but the money's going to be good. I think I can take these dwarfies. Right, one big repair. How many? Too many? Too many? Okay. I'm not going to be back here, so that's why I'm, I am picking up these resources. Okay. Mate, get ready. Get in position. Get here. Can I get it? I can. Beautiful. I'm saving so much crystal. Who needs crystal mine? You're here. Isra. Oh. 1224. And that takes 1334. So we have to choose. Do we want the extra engineers or do we want Isra to learn slow? I think it's more important that she learns slow. So someone else has to get the Derek. So that's a shame. Okay. Never mind. Now, end of day seven. Preparing for tomorrow. Um, we already have 
about three grand's worth. Yeah, okay. Uh, we want to upgrade the ranch tomorrow. We could invest in the Serpentarium. We've got so much money. Don't get too greedy, right? Now, the upgraded sandworms are really, really good. Uh, they have extra moves and they can devour corpses. I'm keen to try that out. We also have the pen, though, to just turn on extra armadillos. I think it's probably the pen, right, because day one isn't going to be that important for us, but it is very important for the pen. Obviously, it's very important for this if we're doing that, but we're not quite ready for that. Let's go a pen. Uh, I think that's low regret. There they are, a little pen at the back of the uh, enclosure there. End the turn? End the, end the week? Yeah. Okay. Well, Tan is pushing the issue. Orange has arrived. Okay, alright, the game's really starting now. Yeah, that's scary and dangerous. Who is this? Terrible hero? Fantastic. So we'll just go and... There's actually nothing there here damage for her to do anyway. So I'm not too worried about her. She comes galloping up here. Let's just actually do this first. Maybe come back and hit the dwarfs with the fresh troops. When we get a chance, do the swapperoo. Leave me the greaves. Uh, you don't know how to curse anything. You don't have a spellbook. Okay. All right, Clancy. Break us through here. No way. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay, how did I lose two in the auto? That makes no sense. One to four. Obviously they're going to smack the engineers. I think it's a yes. There's three of them. They go first next turn. There's no way out of this, I just have to lose the uh, engineers. Five die. Kills one. There's no way out of that. Um. No, hire it, yeah. I know what you're thinking. What is down here? <sighs> Nothing. Nothing doing. It's so frustrating. Where is the necro? It has to be here, but I can't get to it. I've never seen that. It's just so strange. Alright, I have to pause here, but uh, I'll be back later on today to try and solve this conundrum.